Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. This is Noah Cleese, founder of Blackthorn Prod, and in this episode of the How to Create a Simple 2D Customization Menu inside of Unity, we will create a simple system that enables the player to customize the mouth, weapon, and eyes. As you can see, I've repeated the process we went through in the last two videos for the character's body. So now I can change his head color and his body color, which is pretty cool. I've also set up some basic UI, uh, a text UI called Weapon, uh, which is basically an indication to the player of what he will be changing, and an arrow they will be clicking on to swap weapon. Of course, after this video, you can just repeat this process for the eyes and mouth. The steps that you'll have to take will be the exact same. Okay, let's now double click on our scripts folder and create a brand new script, a brand new C Sharp script that I'm going to call Changing Appearance. And then I'm going to open it up inside of Mono Develop. Okay, once that is done, I will begin creating some variables. So let's create a public sprite render variable that I will call parts. And basically, we will drag and drop inside of the inspector the part we wish to customize. So, for example, weapons, eyes, or mouth. I will then create a sprite array called options. And in this array, we will place all the various customization options the player has at his disposal. And lastly, I will create an int variable called index that will keep track of what weapon, mouth, or eyes we have selected. I'm now going to create my update function and inside of it, like we did in the previous episodes, I will create a for loop. Remember, you can double press the tab key on your keyboard for the syntax to be automatically generated. So as long as i is smaller than the number of elements in our options array, we want to run the code between the two curly brackets. And we are going to check if i is equal to our int index variable. If it is, then we will set our weapon sprite to be equal to the sprite in our options array, which is an index of i. Now, let me try and explain all that a little more clearly. We have our array that is composed of an axe, sword, and staff sprite. The staff has an index of 0, the sword an index of 1, and the axe an index of 2. Our i variable will start at 0, as well as our index variable. So when we run our for loop, i will be equal to index, and so our if statement will be true. And so we will set our weapon part to be equal to the sprite that has an index of 0, which in our case is the staff. If index was equal to 1, then our weapon part would be the sword, and if index was equal to 2, you guessed it, our sprite would be an axe. All we need now is a function that will change the value of index. So let's create a public one called swap. In it, we will check with an if statement whether the value of index is less than the number of elements in our options array minus one. We put this minus one because I remind you, arrays start at zero. So if our int index variable is smaller, then we will increase it of one. As a result, our weapon sprite will change to the sprite with a new index. However, if it isn't, then we will set index to be equal to zero. We are now done with the code. Back inside of Unity, you can see that I have parented these two UI elements to an empty game object that I have named Weapon UI. Uh, and I'm going to basically drag and drop the changing color, the changing appearance script, excuse me, to this Weapon UI empty game object. Now I will drag and drop the part I wish the player to be able to customize, so the weapon. And I will also drag and drop the weapon variations the player can choose from. So staff, axe, and sword. All right, uh, all that's left to do is add a button component to our arrow. So I'm gonna go over here to add component and I'm gonna type in button. And I'm going to click on this little plus sign, add our weapon UI that has our changing appearance script on it. And I'm going to select the swap function. So when we click on our arrow, we will call the swap function. That, I remind you, changes the value of index. Uh, I'm now going to press play and see if it all works. And guess what? It does! Alright, excellent! 
All right, let me show you how to do the exact same thing for the eye. So I'm going to grab my weapons UI and I'm going to press Control D on my keyboard to duplicate. I want to bring that down a little and I'm going to rename it to Eyes UI instead of Weapons UI. And then I'm going to name this to Eyes. And all I need to do now is make sure to put the right part inside of this slot. So inside of the weapon, we want to customize the eyes when we press on this arrow here. And I'm then going to drag and drop the eyes, the various eyes inside of my options array. All I need to do now is grab my arrow, go down to my button components, drag and drop the eyes UI that has my changing appearance script, and of course call the swap function. So now everything should work perfectly, and you see it does. So now we can customize our eyes. Excellent. Uh, I'll let you do the exact same thing for the mouth. As you can see, it's very quick. And uh, so yeah, that will conclude the fifth episode of the series. I hope everything was crystal clear, there's a chance it wasn't for some of you, and if that is the case, don't hesitate to state your problem in the comment section down below. I will make sure to answer the fastest possible. In a few days, I will release the very last episode of the series, where we will see how to bring our character from the customization menu to another scene. As you wait for that, it would be so appreciated if you could subscribe and like the video. Alright, thanks so much for watching, I will see you very soon, cheers!